Hi guys, this is Andrew Power and in the second video of the series on cleaning up malware from your WordPress website, I'm going to continue on from the last video where I showed you how to add your website to Webmaster Tools and to gain a list of all of the pages that Google's found that it considers to have malware on it. Now, this time around, if you go to your website or any visitor goes to your website, they're going to get some nasty red page saying this, this page is really nasty, get me out of here. And if it's a visitor, then they're most likely going to hit the back button or essentially go somewhere else and that's not cool for you. So what I'm going to show you is how you can clean this up, how you can get past it and move on. So to begin with, log into your back end. So get your WordPress website forward slash WP dash admin like normal. And if you come across a red page like this, you'll have to click the ignore this warning button or let me in. I know this is a terrible website button and uh, in order to get to your back end. Once you get to your back end, you want to make sure that the website is running the latest version of WordPress because it plugs uh, holes and vulnerabilities. So if you haven't already updated to the latest version, which at this time of this recording is 4.1, then click your dashboard button and go down and click updates. Um, if you're not running the latest version, it will also have some sort of a warning up the top saying this isn't the latest version, um, get your game together and, uh, and update it. So in this case, I'm already running the latest version so we can move on. Next you want to do is go to your themes and if you're running, if you're running one particular theme and you've got a whole heap installed, delete the ones you know you don't use. Now, if this is your website, that's easy to do. You know what you are and aren't using. If it's uh, a client's website, a friend's website, you know, your auntie's sister's uncle's website, then you might want to check with them to see just what they need and don't need. In this case, uh, this one's running the firma site, which I think is a free site, a free theme, I should say, and uh, there's a whole heap of others installed. So to delete them, if you don't want them, you just click it, go down to the bottom right and hit delete. Now, the reason we're cleaning up um, and deleting all of the themes that we're not using is because it's going to reduce, and like plugins, it's going to reduce the number of files that can be infected and also the number of files that need to be scanned each time that you're looking for malware. The other thing is if your theme has updates, say it says an update available, make sure all your themes are updated to the latest version. Again, this takes care of problems, bugs, vulnerabilities, and so on. After you've reduced the number of plug uh, themes that you have, the next step that you want to do after you've done that is do the same with plugins. Go to your plugins, you have a look at what's installed, what's active and you're not using that you could you know, deactivate. Um, so you could scroll through and go, oh, you know, I really don't like this. Now, the interesting thing was this site has been hit by malware and it's got um, it's got WordFence installed with the latest version now only because I'm doing this video. But prior to this, uh, it had another security plugin, which I uh, will rename nameless for the sake of this point, uh, and it didn't do anything. In fact, this site still got infected like everything else. Um, so in this case, what you do in your plugins, make sure that the ones that you want are all active and updated to the latest version. And now go over to the, um, the inactive ones and have a look, make sure you don't need them. And if you don't need them, get rid of, and I actually mean delete, all of the plugins you know you'll never need again. Again, if it's not your site, ask whoever site it is and check with them first. Once The reason we're deleting it, again, reducing the number of files and also the places that malware can hide. People don't realize deactivated themes and plugins malware can still write to and install. After you've uh, updated and deleted the plugins you don't need, you want to, if you haven't already, add a plugin, a new plugin, and install and run the plugin called WordFence. Now WordFence, the reason I prefer this one first is because it has the ability to patch core files that have been infected with uh, malware with brand new ones uh, versus instead of just going out and deleting it. So I've obviously already installed this and it will have a little icon down here. Once it's installed, you'll have to click a um, a button to say yes yes this is all cool you put in your email address so it can send you alerts if there's any problems um, you know you can add certain things like tell it to scan all the themes and uh, and plugins against the repository versions to make sure they're not being added now the more that more files that you have the higher chance if you've, your hosting accounts not that good 
you may very much break this plugin. What I mean by that is the basic level of HostGator will be good for small sites, but if your site's a decent size and you're running on a, a cheap throwaway HostGator account, chances are WordFence may never actually finish its scan. Now, what you're seeing here is old results, but I'm going to run a new scan anyway, just for the sake of this video. Now, if you're running a, if you click start a WordFence scan and you notice that it gets stuck, and it doesn't seem to complete after about 10 or maybe 15 minutes, again, depending on how many files you've got, it's one of three things. One, your server doesn't have enough memory assigned to it, and you can change the options and change that from 250, uh, I think its default is 256 meg. Um, if that's not the case, the timeout of the, um, the, fun uh, the server timeout could be set to something too short. Now, a basic HostGator account is set and limited to 30 second timeouts. Now, if you have a 30 second timeout and a big website, WordFence Word will not ever be able to finish. And um, the problem with the HostGator is they will never change that unless you have a dedicated account. So, uh, so you may be stuck with that one. And uh, the third option as to why it might not complete is it needs an additional um, command for some certain web servers added to the HT access file, which if you don't know how to do that, there's a file on your server called HT access. And um, basically, so it's .ht access, and the only way you can access it is via um, FTP or in your control panel, there's a file editor. But what I recommend is you FTP to your server, download .htaccess to your computer, save a copy for good reference, but if you open it and you're not running any caching on your WordPress site, it will look most likely something like this. And if you find that your scans are never finishing, just after this, this here rewrite base forward slash, press enter and add in an extra command and you can pause this video and copy that down. Essentially what it tells um, WordPress to not, if there's an error, don't abort, just keep on going. And of course, when you save this file and then you, um, you basically upload that over the existing version on your site, it will be automatically uh, telling uh, WordFence, just keep on keeping on. And this will allow a lot of this to happen. So it's finished its scan, it's found nine new issues to fix and see below. So at this point, I scroll down and it says the post contains a suspected malware URL and it lists the URL but it happens to be a URL for this website and it's a JPEG. Now you can actually open that URL to make sure that it's not malware and uh, if we open it up it's a picture of a woman screaming and I'm sure she's not screaming because of malware. So we'll close that off, that's fine. So at this point it's considering that URL bad because Google thinks it's bad, but Google thinks it's bad because there are some malware on this site. So at this point, we can say, ignore this bad URL in this post. And you can go through one by one doing this. And of course, there's another one and another one, and they're all linked to this site. But if we go down, we see one clickevents.com.my, and we happen to know that this is not the site we're working on. Therefore, this is legitimate malware. And you can see it's stored in the themes Firmasite, which is the current one, header.php. Now, you could either just go, yep, yeah, delete this file, which would, of course, break your theme, or two, you could manually try and edit it and find it, and, well, it's given us the exact location where to find it. But in this case, what another way of doing it is to... Um, basically, you uh, delete your theme, and then you reload the new... Now, the reason it's probably better that you uh, download the new version of your theme is simply because... You know, when a malware infection gets in, it doesn't just target one file. It kind of goes after anything it can. And um, so in this case, Firmasite we know is infected. If we scroll down, it says themes classic. So we know that classic theme is infected. Scroll down, default themes is infected. And we can keep going down. Now it says plugins WordPress mobile theme is infected. Right? And it goes down and it lists all the different things. And it says here... Um, and this one's even detected that the modified theme file has been infected. So the cool thing about this is because it's gone to the repository, it's checked the firma site, checked the version, it's checked this file and it says, hold on, the file on your server is not the same as the one that's offered with the theme. This actually allows us, instead of deleting the theme and then downloading the new one again, it allows us to click restore the original version of this file, it will go to the repository, get the actual real version of that uh, header file and replace it. So if we scroll down, 
right? That, that now, you know, that's, that's disappeared. So if we were to scan this again, in fact, I'm just going to do that and pause this video for a moment just so we can see how it ends up. Alrighty, so it's finished doing that scan already. Beauty of a pause button. We scroll down and okay, so we've got these JPEG. We know that that's fine because it's the bad URL is pointing to our website. So that's all good. And it's a JPEG as well. So we can just ignore these ones just to get them out of the way. And now when we scroll down, you'll see that it's actually skipped. If we have a look at those themes that were showing up before, Classic's still there because we haven't done anything. Default's still there, but Firmasite is now been cleaned and taken care of. So what you do at this point is you could have a bulk delete, which is just going to leave bits and pieces everywhere, and it's going to look quite nasty. Um, you could go and hunt into the actual file that it's telling you is infected and look for that code. In fact, we might do that while we're here. And if we go down, we know classic and default themes are infected. So the two things you want to do to begin with, if they're not terribly important to you, is to delete those themes. So we go to default, which is this one here, get rid of it. Shows how old this um, site is because the default theme hasn't been around for quite some time. And we delete classic. And the reason we're deleting it, of course, is that it leaves less hidey holes for um, malware to get to. I'm not using 2011 anyway. So Firmasite's still up and running, that's okay, that's all good. Now we go down to our plugins. And it said, if you scroll down, it said that this um, WordPress mobile, well I don't even know what how that got on there, just deactivate that one. But if you scroll down, um, the URL that it said was terrible <laughs> with the, the infected files, the WordPress so WordPress mobile, well, we just deactivated that. So now if we go back to our WordFence again, um, and you can start a scan and go off and do other things as well. So, you know, it's the scan runs independent of this page. So you don't have to have this page open. Some people think you do, but it's going to work anyway because it's server-based. Um, so we know that that one's fixed. Uh, WP Affiliate Cookie, and it tells us the file again. So it's in window.php. And we know that the themes have been taken care of as well. So we'll let this continue to do its thing. Go over plugins, editor. And we go affiliate, we go down to window.php, which is the URL it said. Now if we scroll through this file, we may or may not find malware. Uh, and here it is here. So look, script. And you can always control F to find it, but there's your, there's your uh, malware right there in that plugin. So you can manually delete it as well. Uh, so you delete that, just simply delete that line, hit update file, and guess what? You've just removed the malware from that particular plugin. So um, because I'd started WordFence, it's probably actually finished after scanning this one again. But um, we scroll down and it says, okay, affiliate jar, well, we just know we clean this one. And this one we actually deactivated. So again, what I'm going to do is go back, and I know it seems a bit you know, back and forth, back and forth, and everybody wants a video that works out perfectly, but uh, I, I challenge anybody to who, who actually does this to just go, yeah, so it's the same for every site that they work on. Um, and see, the amount of the infection can also be something from just in one theme to in every theme. So I've deleted that plugin uh, that we deactivated. I've fixed this other one and we've deleted those themes. So if we come back here again, and I'm going to hit scan for the last time at this point. And then I'm going to pause this video and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it's finished its scan for the last time and it now says scan complete. Congratulations, no problems found. So what we have done is we've now cleaned this website. Now, this red page is going to remain there until we go into Google and make sure you've got your site listed. And down the bottom, you've got to click, I fix these issues, because you have, and then click request a review. And then you have to tell Google or the automatic robot or the automatic robots that work for Google that I have uh, cleaned all malware and removed infected plugins. Also installed. Word fence for future protection. And see, Google just wants to know that you've made an effort because you could very well be one of the people creating the WordPress. As soon as you hit request, give it a second, it'll come up with a little acknowledgement. Ta da! And it says request in process. Um, now you leave it for a couple of hours, anywhere from a couple of hours to a day, and this 
will be detected auto, either automatically through bots or whatever. They'll come back, they'll check that it's all clean, and then when your visitors go to the page, they'll actually see your website and they'll no longer see this big red um, scary thing. And then uh, you're good to go and you can completely uh, dance on the, uh, the grave of the malware. I hope this video helps. If you have any problem with WordFence, check out the third video. It may give you options. But other than that, I uh, hope you've had a great day and I hope this has helped you guys out. Thanks a lot. Bye.